What's up nerds on a Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Dark Chronicle, Dark Cloud 2. I have off-screen grinded a few weapons because we wanna... I, because I said I would do that. Uh, one that I grinded is the Wise Owl Sword, which looks absolutely great. Um, that one I could just buy. I forget who I bought. Oh yeah, um, in the future of Balance Valley. There they have a weapon shop where I just, yeah, bought some stuff. In the meantime, I also found a recipe for the night boots, which are the exact same boots that Monica wears. But I can make them now, and the thing is, if I spectrumize them, they are exactly the same as one of the power crystals. Speaking of crystals, because that also gives you two. Um, speaking of crystals, yes, in the future of... Balance Valley again, you can just buy those crystals for 150 gold or gilda each. Which is basically nothing. So yes, um, while Jirama materials are cheaper, they give you only two points, uh, these uh, things give you three. And I mean, I have the money, I can just buy those. Which is awesome. Also, <laughs> one thing that I have to mention. With Monica, where is she? We have the Sun Armlet, that took us quite some time to get. Yeah, I can just buy the Moon Armlet, which is pretty much the same, but on the other hand. I did not put anything in. This thing has Chill 99 from the get-go. So, if we ever need Chill and Scale for something, I will just put that thing in. That is incredible. This one, the Wildcat, which had, I think, Flame, Smash, Cyclone and Scale, 60. I put now 66 Beast in. And I think for now, I'm just gonna put stuff in. I even uh, wrote it down what I wanted to do for what. And we're gonna start with the Owl Sword that I'm gonna put into this one. Because, oh my goodness, I have 30 synthesis points. Uh, we're just gonna put that in. We're not gonna have enough for the next upgrade, but I mean, we still have 25 synthesis points afterwards, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. Smash, um, you know what? Let's use Smash. Let's go and give 10 Smash a shot. Yeah, we definitely can go over, over 39. There's no way that this is wasted. Yeah, no problem. That should probably do it. But we still need to kill a few more things. Exactly. So we can go to last resort. Okay, that... That's an interesting name. Hopefully it's not a machine gun. Uh, the weakest points are chill and scale. And I think... We're just gonna put both in. By the way, I also found a ruby due to playing some Sveda. Gives us flame and smash. We're not gonna put that in for now. Scale and chill. You know what? Let's... Scale needs 5, 6 to go over 100. So we're gonna do just that. Because why not? If everything is over 100, then I think the next gun won't have any problems to be <laughs> upgraded. Doesn't matter in which direction. Chill. Uh, we got 90, so let's put four in. And then I'm gonna put some more durable in, I would say. I don't know if durable has a cap, because I have some weapons that have 99, I think. And I don't know if that is a cap, so I'm gonna put... Wait, we have 89, so let's put... Three in. Oh wait, Durple also has gives us two. So you know what? Ten to put us up to ninety-nine, and then I can try with one more. Oh, I completely screwed that up because Durable eighty-nine was the maximum. So I basically just wasted away five points because I did not wait to press the button. Doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Here I have 49 points. I love it so much. And we're gonna put that right in. I mean, look at that. We got 36 Flame, Cyclone, Smash, and Scale, and 39 Beast. 
I would say that is a decent start. Though it is not nearly enough to bring our worst parts up to par. By the way... We only have chill 2, so... Ah, yeah, unstable, I know. So if I were to upgrade this thing... We got chill 99, and if we put exorcism up to pretty much the same point, or more or less... And we could just could just put that one in as well. Huh. But first, uh oh yeah. I upgraded this thing for the exact same purpose. <laughs> uh, great. We're gonna put that into the wrench as well. So basically, it didn't take long at all to upgrade all that. But let's see. I mean, that is a little bit. Has only chill 27 and exorcism 34. It is nothing monumental. It is just something that I wanted. Uh, we're also going to put the ruby in because we need flame. And smash is also not bad since we're going to go smash 100 with this. And yes, the next thing that I will upgrade is Monica's armlet. Lightning 22. Let's see if Lightning 25 is enough. The Moon Armlet is the next thing that I'm gonna put in there. Uh, I don't know when. Maybe... Huh, not enough. I mean, I, I could just put all 37 points. That would be uh, 37 times 3. 30 times 3 is 90. Uh, it's 21 so 111 points of chill I could just put in right away I mean I could Or I'll upgrade this thing later on I mean I cannot uh, I cannot build up this wrench anyway, so for now same with this gun, I cannot build it up because we need to kill those guys. What about her again? Um, we got what we need for Sword of Zeus. We just have very little flame and lightning. But that is basically not something that I really need right now. And here we have what we need. Chill Cyclone Beast. Hmm. Huh. We can, you know what, let's put in some beast. Because why not? Uh, not 11, I wanted 12. 12! Just because we can. It's Like I said, I pretty much have infinite amounts of uh, elemental crystals because I can just very easily get some more money. So I think we are pretty good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Castle of Stonehenge. Because we have all four of the crystals and then I'm gonna finally find out what we were doing this for. Because, like I said last time, I completely forgot because I'm stupid like that. Okay, I have to check one more thing because I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, now all of them, I just need to kill more monsters. I have no idea why I've... Why it doesn't stick in my mind. But then again, I'm switching so fast between those things. You can hardly blame me. You could, you really could. But you can hardly blame me. <laughs> I like the music here. This choir sounding, or choir-like sounding synth or whatever. Okay, is it alright if we just go here into the middle, or do we have to actually go to everything, everything, single thing and put it in? Seems like that's the case. You were water? You are... You are fire? You are earth and yeah, you are wind. Okay, great, 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 great. Did we just say earth? Yeah, right. 
And I'm guessing if I chose the wrong one, it would say no. Possibly. And one last one. The wind crystal. <gasps> Something's happening. Something's happening. Something having to do with time and stuff. Whoa. What's happening? It's probably opening another labyrinth. Another... Yeah, labyrinth. No, it's not a labyrinth. Another dungeon. That's what I wanted to say. Ooh. Shiny lights. Oh, Pasnos! We wanted to bring Pasnos over here. It's <laughs> I'm so stupid. That's it. And with Pasnos, we want to destroy uh, Griffin's floating island. So that was your... Of course. He has blood from two different times running in his veins. It's giving him special qualities. A boy descended from two eras. He may just be able to save us. He could be the one. Now, let us strike back. Him and Monica, they are two. Just, just saying. Yes, he is the one with two different time blood things, but she also helped. As well as everyone else, but okay. Max is the one, of course. Yes. Right. Do we fly the fortress now? That would be so cool. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that his uh, fortress will be a dungeon. And uh, what was it? Uh, Joker, King and Queen or whatever. We have to kill the, the cards, basically. That sounds like something that would be in a castle. These Pazner's attacks aren't doing anything. Prepare to fire the Nova Driver. <gasps> Not the Nova Driver. I was half expecting, <gasps> sir, not the Nova Driver. It, it isn't ready yet, but no, it actually, the Nova Driver works. That's great. I like it. We'll see if it does anything. Probably not a whole lot. Hopefully, because why wouldn't they? Yes, I've never seen it fired before either. Can it damage that thing? I sure hope so. We'll have to wait and see. Because if not, then all of this was pretty much useless. Because having Pasnos here doesn't do shit if they can't do shit, right? It even pushes the fortress back. Wow. That was bad aim. But it even pushed the flying fortress back. I like that. That showed quite how much force it has. And wow, we actually hit something and it worked. They did it! Uh-oh, this is very bad. Huh? Look! The palace is falling towards Palm Brinks! Oh shit. Oh shit. It's a Majora's Mask in this bitch. <laughs> Gonna do some time travel to stop that, I hope. Or whatever. What should we do, sir? There is a town at the estimated crash point of the palace. Just just saying, every now and then the uh, the text is gone before it's fully there. I'm not pressing anything. Now I did, but as, as long as there is this, this arrow at the end of it, then I'm pressing something to make it move. But sometimes it just completely cuts off. Initiate Colossus mode. <gasps> okay, Colossus mode. I'm guessing this thing gets feet and hands now, basically a huge right pot. And they're gonna run up and catch the thing. What? Colossus mode? What are you talking about? It's a new system on Posmos. You must be joking. 
Posnos doesn't have anything like that. Yes, it does. I just don't know about it. Why? What? But ever since Posnos was in its planning stages, I... History has changed. Since Max and Monica went back in time, things have changed slightly. They've created a whole new time stream. Yes, but... Shouldn't they know? I... Ah, whatever. That's not... Let's not think too hard about it. Time travel is always complicated. Put Posnos in Colossus mode. But still, how can she know and he does? Entering Colossus mode. Anyway, they're entering Colossus mode. I'm very... Very... What's the word for it? Oh, that looks cool. cool. What is it? I have no idea. It looks like... Like... Like Pasnos is transforming. Curious! That was the word I was looking for. Oh, damn. Oh, I like this. I always liked big, big robots. Uh, that, yeah, that is one hell of a cool robot. And that could be a Final Fantasy boss fight. <laughs> Am I playing Pazlos now? By transforming. <laughs> okay, let's see what it does. She's a man. Just saying. Dive. Are we gonna dive or basically a dive forward? Like. Okay, it's a dive forward. <laughs> ah, this game is so epic. I love it. Now shoot it again, point blank. Some Digimon Final Fantasy bullshit. I I I am so here for it. Like now that I'm this far in the game, I think I have to rank it way up, way higher in my favorite games list, which always changes. But this this game is just it's just a gem. It's a gem. Yes. Yes. Let's go. And hope we find some card based monsters so that we can upgrade his freaking gun and hope that the next gun isn't a whatchamacallit machine gun okay okay uh let's see if we can go inside can we just move there oh uh, nope <coughs> not like this uh hmm. yes okay yes can we go okay yeah great he just brings us there it seems i i think because he said something about time and all but i'm guessing yeah we're just sitting down to go over i don't know man I, I don't know. I'm as lost as you are. Wait, I'm not really lost, but you know what I mean. Hi. Max, Monica, listen carefully. Griffin's palace is back on the ground. This Got is it. Last chance to take him out. Got it. It's up to you to repair the history which Griffin has perverted. Got it once again. This is the final chapter. Okay, get going. Go and make a brighter future for all of us. Yes, mother. Leave Griffin to us. Basically, the kids are our future, right? It's like... <laughs> but, I mean, it would have been cool if uh, when she said uh, this is the final chapter, if the camera would be completely on her so that it looks like she uh, looks into the gamer's eyes. Like, this is the last chapter. After this, the game will end. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go. This, this terrain looks so freaky. I love it. Aesthetically, this game is pretty much top-notch. Like I always say, I 
freaking love PS2 games. They are just some of the most creative games style-wise, in my opinion. They, I, they, I'm, I'm not saying that modern games aren't stylish, modern games aren't uh, well-made, stuff like that. Absolutely not. There are tons and tons and tons of modern games that are amazing. But sometimes, like PS2 games, they, they, they look like there is so much more thought going into. Like, so much more that went into creating them. Chapter 7. Palace of Flowers. Like I said, not to discredit any modern game studios. But you know what I mean, hopefully. Palace of Flowers. What? Who are you? What is you? And why? Don't tell me there's some sort of goddess, whatever. Welcome to the Moonflower Palace. What? You have come to fight with Cyrus inside the Moonflower Palace, have you not? Okay, Cyrus is Griffin? Cyrus? Do you mean Griffin? Please, don't blame Cyrus. I really hope you are able to see the child's true form. Who are you? I am the ruler of the palace, Alexandra. Once again, don't tell me this is his mother. Cyrus has not yet realized what his role in life is. And neither have you two. Cyrus and I shared many memories in this garden. They are all still hidden here. If this garden could change back to the way it used to be, the child may remember everything again. Please, open up your hearts and see for yourselves the truth hidden here in the castle. There is a clue in the first room. Please, go and win back Cyrus's memories. If you do, I'm sure Cyrus will. I beg of you. Ethical dilemma. I wonder what she meant. A clue in the first room. Yeah, let okay. Anyway, let's keep going. So ethical dilemma. Like um Gaspard was his name, right? The the guy who killed Monica's father. Monica pretty much forgave him due to his tragic backstory. Though his, yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of magic, uh, tragic backstory. Now, oh, I should have waited. He's not showing up this time. I wonder. Now, like I said, he, Gaspard was. Aha! I got it! I got it! Okay, Gaspard was doing bad stuff for the evil guy. Because he had nowhere else to go. He he hated people, which was pretty much warranted due to his backstory and all. Now, I can see them forgiving him. Absolutely. Though with Monica, she was a bit quick to forgive the guy who killed her father. But okay, whatever. But Cyrus, or Emperor Griffin... Who destroyed multiple timelines, who destroyed the whole world, basically. And still tries to do that. Just because, and I'm just going under the limb, Alexandra, who was either his mother or his lover when he wasn't a child, but since she's talking to him about, uh, talking about him being a child, probably his mother? He probably lost her, tried to go around in time to get her back, realized that he couldn't. Something like that. Like, we don't know yet, but something like that, probably. He destroyed multiple timelines. He destroyed the Earth, pretty much, and he's still trying to destroy the Earth further. He's trying to eradicate everything. And only because he has a tragic backstory, they are probably going to help him. He will find his memories and all of that. If he can revert everything back so that this all never happened, 
but they still kind of remember. I could say, okay, we could forgive him. But if they just find out that he has a tragic backstory and he's like, oh no, forgive me, and they were like, okay, we forgive you, no. Basically, it's the same thing if, if you... <laughs> that, that might sound stupid, but would you forgive Hitler just because he has a change of mind? Would you? I highly doubt it. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna take a look at all the portraits and make it the way it was. It? Something like that. Just now. Uh, um, Alexandra. Yeah. Whatever, jump back into the game. Into the game. So yeah, actually, I think I I think I think said that the first time we entered the palace that there is such a huge building and a uh, huge garden. And if we are actually going to build something there, yes, we're going to get geostones, probably, which are his memories, and then rebuilding the garden. Just going on a limb here. The pictures in this hall must show how the palace was long ago. Oh, I'm so invested. <laughs> Once again. That is pretty, pretty much exactly what she said. If you can restore everything, he might find his memories. Like, there was no riddle behind that. The only thing that was kinda ominous was, oh, there's a hint in the first room. She could have just said, just like on the pictures. That's, but I'm other sure than that. The way to uncover the secret about Griffin in this palace. I bet you're right. It couldn't hurt to try. Though, now I gotta say, it would be so incredibly hilarious, <laughs> hilarious for any game to be like, oh, to finally defeat this guy or help this guy or whatever. Do this, do all of that, rebuild this and that. And you'd be like, okay, we're gonna do that. We rebuild everything, you're done rebuilding it, and then they'd be like, ha, ah, very nice, this is our secret weapon, ha ha, you helped us build it. <laughs> I would love that. So basically, if if Griffin's uh, okay, okay, if Griffin's backstory is what I think it is, and he is just like, and Alexandra is his mother and all, then the whole game is basically just children losing their mothers, and with that, and for that, going on adventures, be them good or evil, doesn't really matter. Are we actually going to have to build all of that? That would be interesting. Because it pretty much shows us everything we need to know. All we need to do is... Uh, connect everything. It's an interesting thing. But for now we need the Geostone... Oh my goodness, that's a huge garden. We would need all the Geostones, which will probably be in here. In this dungeon, yes, of course. God, I love this game so much. <laughs> and I said we were close to the end, right? Yeah. Hmm. Let, wait, let, let me... Holy shit! Oops, no. That, I mean, it, it is a palace, so I doubt that all the floor that the floors are that huge but then again it's the last dungeon probably so oh that's interesting we will see oh no damn it looks cool and yeah that's a kind of big dungeon what are you bundy we need to destroy you for something that much i know Yeah, our wrench is dealing quite good damage. I like it. Uh, there's a Geostone. One of his memories or whatever. My goodness, that looks... It all looks so amazing. Stupidly amazing. Okay, Um. by the way. Build up. Bundy, yeah. Moon, Flower Fant and Toy Rock. That sounds like... 
that still sounds like the rest of that we will find them here i don't know i just that that whole sentence was stupid it sounds like we will find all of those guys in here i mean we have to like i said but is that still not enough okay then let's go to 140 i don't care i have enough synthesis points i can do this all day basically <laughs> that enough now yes that is enough great zero oh that sounds that sounds good what are you castle eater okay okay by the way which weapon are we trying to build up next which we i mean we still have cedric with us so ha ha <laughs> Let's play Legend of Zelda. Uh, so, using his wrench would still be the best idea for now. On the other hand, it doesn't really matter, right? Silver gear. I don't think we need you. Oh my goodness. Did that thing just do 44 damage? The answer is yes. It really did. What are you over there? Unknown bone. We don't care for that. Count balloon. Get over here! Oh my goodness! I mean, like I said, of course we're in the last dungeon, but damn! <laughs> they are kind of destroying us! Wrecking our shit, as they say. Okay, let, let's see what Monica can do against all those. Okay, okay, that's, that's decent. That's decent -er. Yeah, okay. Monica is more useful at the moment. And her sword is about to level up. It's so great. I mean, it is already finished, right? Like, uh... Yeah, Sword of Zeus. We just need to destroy a Fire Drake, an Ice Drake, and a Thunder Ghost. I just kicked my microphone back. <laughs> Alright. Let's try and do this. Gonna start by going this way. And I'm still contemplating using like 30 points, uh, 30 synthesis points for ice or uh, for chill on Max's uh, wrench. Just to level that up quite a bit. Oops, I was. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm confusing myself every now and then because I wanted to use her sword because, like I said, it's about to level up. But then again, I killed that thing with my magic. Antidote. We don't have any room left. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. You're not gonna die right here right now. No, 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 you're not. By the way, in case you try to, you ain't. Like, just in case I mid, uh, I mid combo and get shot like 70 times like this. And can't really switch to living mode. <laughs> Come on, stop with it. Then at least I have this revive powder that revives me as its name supply uh, suggests supplies yes oh yeah we're thirsty that's why we cannot eat that's it today i i, I uh, thought about what thirst does in this game and i completely forgot about it but it makes so that you can't eat that quite that makes sense that's quite understandable basically let's see Yep, that's good amount of damage. And we're once again gonna use her sword. Because her sword keeps getting incredible amounts of ABS, EXP, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Thing is, it, it's not like we're 
It's not like we are in that big of a pinch. It's not like we are way too weak. We just don't one-shot anymore. But I'm actually thinking about leveling up even more in between episodes. Okay, let's... Oh! I mean, yes, the gun is freaking strong, but that is actually useful now. Interesting. Still hoping we're gonna get a another gun and not a machine gun next time, but... Come on, come on. Mouse, 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 mouse. I love its... Its colors. I love its style. Count Balloon! We shall meet again! Bundy! Okay. Like, with the right enemies, this gun is still pretty dang good. Then again, I just put in, like, 100 points of everything, so... Kinda makes sense, right? And you know what? Status, I want more chill. Wait, chill and exorcism. Isn't that... Oh no, it's ch chill and scale. Yeah, maybe let's not use 30. Maybe let's go for... Oops! Wait, what, what do I have there? Is that the key to the next... Queen's watering pot. Watering pot the queen uses to tender flowers. That's probably to get to the next area, because we go through flowers. So I'm guessing just water them, they open up, you go through. That's it. Uh, we're gonna put some exorcism in, because... Don't have quite a lot, but... Doesn't matter. And once again, we are at 99 durable, and I'm guessing that is the most for... I don't know for if it's for every weapon, but at least for this thing, I'm pretty sure. I could see 99 being the most, because, I mean, it's 99, right? Oh, yes. EXP, ABS, call it as you want. Call it what you will. Bundy! Screw you, my guy. My undead skeleton guy. Silver gear, screw you even more. Ah. Oh, damn it. And once again. And one more. Okay, we are poisoned. I don't like that. Uh, we're gonna use a rice ball right away. Because we we're gonna... Oh, damn it, I'm so stupid. All right. that takes care of you guys. And now, please, don't tell me we can place feeder here. Oh my god. We can place feeder in here. I'm not gonna do it. Take a look at that the, the map. Ooh. I was going this way to then leave the uh, healing fountain for last. So, I could have gone here. Completely poisoned at all. And it wouldn't have been a problem. Because I wouldn't have died due to poison in that short time that I'm running over here. And I would have gotten rid of the poison. Would have gotten rid, uh, rid of all the damage. Wouldn't have used a single rice ball. What can I say? Stupid is as stupid does. Interesting. Interesting design choice. I would have preferred doors. But who am I to judge, right? Okay, this is gonna take quite a few more episodes. Damn! 56 hours played. Uh, that's amazing. Card warriors gather! Yes! 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 We're gonna upgrade our guns sooner than later. Way sooner. Oh, geez, though. Got what I need, I'm going now. <laughs> Alright. 
I mean, the levels aren't huge. But it's not like they're small either. Okay, that looked strange, but I mean, like I said, it completely makes sense to have card warriors in a castle. Question is, do we find dragons? Yes, I would say we're, we're, we would find dragons if we go further down, right? Like there is a, uh, a fork in the road. So what if, in theory, uh, we were going like up to the top in one on one side, and on the other side we were to go. No, what? Let's let's go over here. And on the other side we would go down into the uh, the dungeons of the castle, because I mean, dragons would. Eh, well, they could be on the top either uh, as well. I don't know. And, I mean, like I said, they completely make sense. It's just that they, they, they don't look too intimidating for where we are. But again, they make sense, so... Hmm. Club. But we don't... We're not looking for the colors. Club, heart, diamond, and spade. We are looking for the... Oh, yeah, exactly. Joker. You are one. Oh, you. Okay, you look cool. You get away from me. That was half my health. I ain't saying I'm scared, but I almost shit my pants. <laughs> like, yes, I do have the regeneration uh, powder thingy, but that doesn't mean that I want to use it. Holy hell. Joker, like, damn. I, I don't want to find out if the rest, I if the rest of the cards are as strong as Joker. I doubt it. I think Joker might be the strongest because he's the Joker. But on the other hand, damn. Fucking hair. I, I need to. I need to. Need to cut my hair. Good thing is with the whole quarantine and all, I can just. Uh, cut my hair myself because I always have the same haircut which is this but less so <laughs> all I need is my uh, basically the razor with uh, something you put on and then you have the, the the length that you want you know what I mean okay diamond can completely negate my attacks which makes sense and that is the spade over there how did I know because he has a spade in his hands or it has a spade in its hands, sorry. Boom! I mean, they take quite the beating. Yes, we are in the last dungeon, so it kind of makes sense, but still, damn. Now, let's see. Uh, exorcism, exactly. Oh my god, 14? Didn't I just use all of my synthesis points? Did you just get 14 synthesis points for one level? You just know I'm gonna use that. Like, I could even put the level up thingy in because, I mean... Hmm. I mean, why not? Sure, seven points. So maybe I just missed one level in between, but still. Damn. Seven more, coming right up. Now we're over 100 here as well. So once again, no matter what the, what was it, grade zero or whatever, no matter what that is, we are set. Like, yes, we will have to pump in some more, uh, some more synthesis points, some more crystals, but we will have quite the, quite the base. Let's say it like that. Right, so basically <laughs> episodes from now on will be like two or three dungeon levels again, like in old times. That's interesting. Heart. How much damage do you take like this? Yeah, that's that's decent. It only took me 30 health. 
I mean, I. St oh, damn, there's the next Joker. I still have the ability of uh, regenerating. Re regenerating health. Okay, let let's see how Monica fares against the Joker. Yes, yes, that's. It works. It's not bad. I mean, if I were to use the switch training tactic here, that would... What the heck, she just freaked out. And her sword is still the best thing that I have in this game. <laughs> Screw you, Spade. You were about to attack me. I, I saw it. I did see it. We have 16 synthesis points. We could put stuff in flame and lightning just like I did with the other thing, but I'm gonna wait for what Zeus's sword needs, I think. And here, once again, I am diamond and super diamond or whatever. I could put some stuff into chill and beast and cyclone, or I could just, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try. I'm just gonna try something. Although, right now, I don't have anything that needs that much chill anymore, right? Because I just used quite a bit. Huh. What I could do... ...is upgrade one of her sword. I... Nah. The thing is, like I said, I don't have anything... ...that is too weak at the moment anymore. So, I, I don't feel like... I don't feel the need to upgrade other weapons right now. ABS bonus, yay! Eh. <laughs> I mean, it is a bonus. It's free ABS, I will take it. But it could have given me a bit more, maybe. Hey, Spade! Hey! Hey, Spade! Hey! Jump! Boink. It didn't throw him to the ground. Interesting. But anyway, antidote drink, we don't care, because I bought everything medicine-wise when I was in the future. Because I can buy pretty much everything right now, and I like that. Alright, let's keep going, last room, and afterwards, like after this dungeon level, I'm gonna end the episode for now. I hope you're as excited as me about all of this, because like I said, this game... This game just makes me happy. Hey, it absolutely does. It is so great and I am very happy that I chose to play this game since... Like I said, this was never one of the forgotten games. Like, you know those games. You played you played it as a, as a kid and like every few years you're like, Oh yes, that existed, or whatever. Or like in 20 years, you like, oh yes, this game. Uh, pure randomness and all. But no, this game was always, always basically in my sights. I always knew about this game. I always had it on my emulator and all. I have it on my PS2 and I keep replaying this game. I just, due to the channel, is the first time that I'm actually incentivized myself to play through it. It sounds stupid, but like... I, I can't hold myself to, like, I can tell myself, hey, play through this, you, you have a reason now, you have a better reason than just, oh, I like this game. Now it's, I freaking love this game, I want to show people how amazing it is, and best I can do that is by playing through it, finally, for the first time. <laughs> and you can get, uh, can go on this journey with me, or rather, you are going on this journey with me, you went on this journey with me so far, hopefully. If not, you can look or watch all my episodes in the playlist, stuff like that. You know how YouTube works. <laughs> but yeah. I love it. But since we're already at almost 50 minutes, I'm gonna save. It's saved. Save complete. I don't have to save again. And I thank you guys so much for watching. This is gonna be awesome. The rest of this is gonna be awesome as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye.